Well, the staff of Lewandowski in Barcelona this past weekend after they opened up their account over in La Liga with a 0 0 draw. But what's going to happen in match number two? We'll take a look at that and more next. That's right, folks. Bounce game another prediction video today. We're forward to match number two in this year's La Liga season, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe and banning up today. All things La Liga related, Babylon related, related, world football related. We got it all here, boys. Under one roof. Yeah, that's right, Barcelona nil nil draw, but Real Madrid are up and running with a course a victory on uh, match day number one. But what's going to happen in match number two? Will they make it two for two? We'll take a look at it. All of it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons, guys. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it. Of course, have a lot. Look at match day number two. But before that, we're going to take a look at this match day number one right here, right now, and recap the results in all its glory. Where am I? Here I am, of course. So let's get the deep end. Of course, have a little look at how we all got on last time around this, shall we? Of course, kicking on off with the recap of the results. My, my picks on the left, the real deal's on the right. Uh, hopefully, it's going to come out here in all its glory. That's right, Osasuna. Uh, got a monstrous win over Sevilla. 2 1 in the end. I went with 2 1 win the other way. Uh, meanwhile, Sardar Vigo and Espanyol duked out to a 2 2 draw. Uh, we did get victory for Villarreal. 3 0 win for them. 2 1 win for me. Uh, Barcelona could uh, only muster a 0 0 draw. We talked about that. Sociedad with an opening day win for them over Cadiz. I uh, went with a 2-1 win myself. Not too shabby there. Uh, Villa uh, Valencia with a big 1-1 win over Girona. 2-0 win in my eyes. Uh, Madrid got up and running with that 2-1 win over Almira. I went with a 3-1 win. Bill Bauer could only must have 0-0 draw against Mallorca. Uh, Atletico, Madrid, uh, Atletico Madrid did pick up a win against Getafe. 3-0. 2-0 for me. And then bottom there, Real Betis uh, picked up a 3-0 win over Elche. 2-1 for me in the end. That's, of course, my state of play. What about yours, of course? We'll have a look at that in just a second. Let's take a little look. And, of course, the league table is early days. Villarreal, uh, Madrid, Betis and uh, Real Madrid, of course, make up the top four as of right now. But what about, of course, you guys and girls? Let's take a little look at uh, yours in here by the old prediction. We'll get to that in a second. But, of course, we're going to chuck it over here. Let's chuck the old Super Brew in action and have a little look at all its glory, of course. You can get involved. It is free to enter. What we really want to know is how the leaderboard is looking after match day number one. That's right. Leading is Enzo, 21, with 12.5 points. The same as Iman Hussain. Sammy Boy's up there with 12.5. Alex Well, James BZFC, you make up five. Uh, and I am all the way down into 14th spot, uh, which is OK, but not brilliant. And, of course, down the foot is UTSC 2010 with 4.5 and a shitter. Absolute shitter. But of course, it is early days. Let's just keep it going into match number two. And how do you do that then, guys? How do you do that? Well, you go here then, don't you? Cut the force us. Spain picks. Free to enter. Get your name in lights. And, of course, you could be winning next weekend. Speaking of next weekend, these are the games. And we are right here right now. I'm going to predict them from the tip of the top all the way down to the bottom there. Kicking off with Espanyol against Vallecano. Let's get into it. Coming at you on August the 19th. That's right. Play each other 31 times. in 13 wins for Espanyol. 10 wins for Vallecano. And we've got eight draws, of course. Just one and sixth of Espanyol right now in all competitions. 42% for them heading into this. Vallecano coming just unbeaten the last five. Pick up three draws and a couple of wins, of course, stretching into preseason and beyond. Of course, their biggest win over Espanyol. 3-0 win. The biggest win the other way, eight. 5-1 win. In fact, Valacan only scored 38 goals compared to Espanyol's 51 over the course of those 31 matches. Last time round, though, over in Espanyol, it was a one win for Valacano back in April 2022. In fact, Valacano won four in the bounce, five in the bounce even, against uh, Espanyol, stretching all the way back to October 2020. Of course, Valacano opened up with a 0 draw against Barcelona at uh, the new camp. Of course, uh, Espanyol with a 2-2 draw against Celta Vigo, though. Coming at you for the odds here, 65 is your Espanyol, 25 is your away win, and 9-4 is your draw. I'm back in Espanyol to get a sneaky home win here uh, and of course it'll be back to back games now without a goal uh, for Valacano according to me next up of course is Sevilla up against Valladolid coming at you also on uh, August the 19th aka Friday uh, played 32 times since 1993 11 for Sevilla 6 wins for Valladolid and 15 draws Sevilla they're winning 3 losing 3 over the last 6 that's 50% form against the Valladolid side who've just lost once the last 6 67% form for them moving forward of course the biggest win for Valladolid over Sevilla was a 2 0 win the biggest win the other way a 4 0 win uh, that's of course over the course of those 32 matches works out about fit they've actually 51 goals to be over Valladolid who scored 35 works at about 1.09 goals a game for Valladolid 1.59 goals for the host Sevilla however the last three matches between the two sides uh, in all venues and all competitions have ended up as a 1-1 draw uh, and of course uh, Sevilla opened up with a 2-1 loss to Osasuna that's a surprise surprise and of course uh, Valladolid opened up with a 3-0 defeat 
<coughs> to Villarreal last time around. The odds though for this, a 50 to 8 on is just Sevilla. 3 to 1 is your draw. 11 to 2 is your away win here. Going to go with 2 to 1 for Sevilla for me on this one. What about you? Let me know down below. It's a Saturday's games. We go now Saturday, of course, the 20th of August. Uh, of course, Osasuna up against Cadiz. Played each other 13 times since the year 2003. 10 was Osasuna, 2 for Cadiz and 1 draw. Uh, Osasuna have actually won 3 on the spin. 67% for them. Cadiz have won the last 5 games, of course. Uh, coming into on the back of 4 defeats on the spin. Biggest win for Cadiz over Osasuna was a 1-0 win the biggest win in the away a 2-0 win uh, Osasuna have scored 23 goals compared to Cadiz is 10 over the course of those 13 games works at about 1.77 goals a match for Osasuna 0.77 goals a match for Cadiz last round though in Osasuna it was a 2-0 win for Osasuna uh, and they've actually won 4 in the bounce against Cadiz uh, stretching all the way back into 2020. In fact, they're unbeaten, though, over the last six games against Cadiz, picking up five wins and a draw to boot. Also, soon opened up with a 2 1 win over Sevilla. Big win they did. And of course, Cadiz did, did lose on opening day to Real Sociedad uh, on a 1 0 win there. Uh, coming at you, though, 11 10 on is your also soon, 9 4 is your draw, and 16 5 is your Cadiz here. 1 1 draw in the end. Uh, point split right down the middle. And I think Cadiz will be happier on that one. Mallorca against Betis coming at you also on Saturday, August the 20th. Now, these two sides have played each other 34 times since 1997. 13 wins for Mallorca, 14 wins for Betis, and we've got seven draws, of course. Morocco though, unbeaten in the last nine games, picking up four wins and a couple of draws out of the last six. 83% for for them. Up against a rare better side of 1 2 loss to and draw two of the last six. 50% for for them, but unbeaten in the last three games. Betis though, coming to his other back of a 3 0. In fact, Betis' biggest win over Morocco was a 3 0 win. The biggest win, that, for, the biggest win for Morocco over Betis was a 4 0 win. Uh, and Morocco have scored 40 goals compared to Betis' 41 of the course of those 34 matches. Works out about 1.18 goals a match for Morocco and 1.21 goals a match for Real Betis heading into this. That's the round over in Mallorca. It was a 1-1 draw back in August 2021. Uh, Mallorca opened up with a 0-0 draw against Bilbao. Betis with a 3-0 win of Elche uh, heading into this one. Then Shao, we're coming at you. 2-1 is your Mallorca. 20-20 is your Betis. 11-5 is your draw. 2-1 win in the end for Real Betis on this one for me. Celta Vigo up against Real Madrid also on Saturday, concluding the Saturday's matches. Uh, now these two sides, they've put each other 50 times in 1993. 12 was the Celta Vigo. 32 wins for Real Madrid. And we've got six draws, of course. Celta Vigo, though, without a win in five now. 42% over the last six. Uh, Mio Real Madrid actually won three on the bounce. Just one defeat the past six of them. 75% for them then moving forward. The biggest win for Real Madrid over Soto Vigo. A 6 0 win. The biggest win in the way. A 5 1 win. Uh, Soto Vigo scores 60 goals compared to Real Madrid's 112. Works out about 1.2 goals a game for Soto Vigo compared to the 2.24 goals a match for Real Madrid heading into this one. Last round, though, over in Soto Vigo. It was a 2 1 win for Real Madrid back in April 2022. And they actually won, what, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bounce. Uh, Real Madrid, and of course, coming into this on the back of a 2 1 win over Almira. Uh, and of course, Celta Vigo with a big 2 2 draw against Espanyol last time around. The odds here, though, 10 to 3 is Celta Vigo, 11 to 8 on is your Real Madrid, and 40 to 5 is your draw here. Back in Real Madrid with a 2 to win for them on the road to make it 2 for 2. Into Sunday's games, it's Athletic Bilbao against Valencia. Of course, a bit of a zinger zinger this one. Uh, coming out to the San Mam Stadium, played each other 62 times since 1993. 16 wins for Bilbao, 26 wins for Valencia, 20 draws, of course. Just one defeat in the past six games for Bilbao right now. Uh, 67% form up against the Valencia side, back to back wins for them. Uh, 58% form over the last six. Biggest win for Valencia over Bilbao. 5-1 win. Same score line for Bilbao over Valencia as well. Uh, Valencia have scored 90, 90 goals compared to Bilbao. 71 over the course of those 62 matches. Works out around about 1.15 goals a game for Bilbao. 1.45 goals a game for Valencia heading into this. Last round though, it was a 0-0 draw back in May 2022. In fact, five of the last six games between these two sides in all competitions and all venues have ended up as a draw. Just the one win and that was for Valencia last round in Valencia back in uh, March 2022. Uh, Bilbao have opened up with a 0-0 draw against Mallorca. Valencia opened up with a 1-0 win over Girona. Uh, coming at you though, the odds here, we have 10-7 on is your Bilbao, 11-4 is your draw, and 4-1 is your away win. That's Valencia on this one. Back in Bilbao here with a, a loss. Going for a loss here. Valencia with a away day win. 2-1 for them. Uh, Bilbao taking the L on this one. Everything think Madrid up against uh, Villarreal and a zinger zinger on, of course, on Sunday, uh, April the tw uh, August the 21st. Uh, 42 times they play each other since 1998. 14 wins for uh, Madrid, uh, 15 wins for Villarreal, and 13 draws. It's quite tight of the course of those 42 matches. The biggest win for each other was a 3 0 win over each other, of course. So, 3 0 win for Madrid, 3 0 win for Villarreal. Uh, and in fact, uh, Atletico scored 56 goals compared to Villarreal's 57 over the course of those 42 matches. Works out about 1.33 goals a match for Madrid, 1.36 goals for Villarreal. It's so tight between these two sides. And they're both coming to some pretty incredible form 92% form for Villarreal, 100% form for uh, Madrid. Of the last six. That's that place, of course, in Madrid. It was a 2 2 draw. In fact, uh, the last uh, three of the last four have ended up as a 2 2 draw. Uh, Madrid picking up the only victory sandwich in between all that. Um, over in Villarreal back in 2021. Uh, Madrid with a 3 0 win over Catafi on an opening day. Villarreal with a 3 0 win over the lead on opening day. 
It's so tight, so fine margins. The odds though here, 20 to 17 on is your Atletico Madrid. We've got 13 to 5 is your, and 16 to 5 is your away win here for Villarreal. Quite tight, tight, air tight. Going to go with a, uh, sorry, woo, 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 a 2 0 win in the end for Atletico Madrid. Moving on to Sociedad against Barcelona. Another zinger, zinger. Chicky dinner also on Sunday, August the 21st. Uh, played each other 40, 57 times at 93. Eight wins for Sociedad, 38 wins for Barcelona. 11 draws, of course. Just one defeat pass, five for Real Sociedad, 58% form. Up against the Barcelona side, we pick up an uh, unbeaten run of six. Games 83% form heading into Stats that place in uh, the Real Arena, of course, was the one win for Barcelona back in April 2022. Uh, Barcelona have won uh, six on the bounce, of course, scoring plenty of goals against Sociedad. Sociedad uh, did open up with a one win of Cadiz. Barcelona opened up with a nil draw against Valacano uh, last time around. The also for this one, 12 to 5 is your host, 30 to 5 is your draw, 21 to 20 is your away win. Barcelona favoured to win this one, going to give it to him as well with a 2 1 win for them on the bloody road. On the bloody road. Moving on to Elche, of course, uh, up against Almira coming at you on Monday, the 20th. 2nd of August, played each other 31 times since 2002. Nine wins to Elche, 30 wins to Elmira, and we've got nine draws, of course. Elche, though, three three wins, three defeats in the last six. That's 50% form. Up against the Almira side of 1 2, lost two and draw two over the last six. Just one win in the last five games for them. The biggest win, though, for Almira over Elche, 5 3 win. The biggest win in the away, a 3 0 win. Uh, Elche have scored 44 goals compared to Almir Almira's 50 over the course of those 31 games. Works at about 1.42 goals a match compared to 1.61 for Almira heading into kickoff. Of course, that's the one, though, in Elche. It was a 1 1 draw back in November 2019. And, of course, Elche with a 3-0 loss on an opening day. Almira with a big 2-1 loss against Real Madrid. This one's going to be tight as well with a 0-0 draw on this. Uh, that's my prediction on it. I'm going to give you the odds now. 29-20 for the uh, hosts. 9-4 is short. And 2-1 is your way win, uh, of course. But I am backing the 0-0 on this one. Then wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's Girona. It's Getafe. And it is coming at you at the Stadium on TVD, of course. Coming at you on Monday, 22nd of August. Played each other nine times in 2013. we got uh, three wins to Girona, two wins to Getafe. Four draws. Of course, just one minute six games, though, for Girona right now. I guess it's Getafe side who have won in the last six games themselves. 17% more with them moving forward. Biggest win though for Getafe over Girona. 4 1 win. The biggest win in the way. A 5 1 win for Girona. Uh, Getafe scored 13 goals compared to Girona's 15. Works out around about 1.44 goals uh, a game for the visitors. 1.67 goals a game for the hosts. Uh, last time on the page, of course, in Girona, it was a 1 1 draw back in December 2018. Uh, Girona opened up with a 1 0 loss against Valencia. Getafe opened up with a 3 0 loss to Atletico on this one. So both sides coming to this without scoring a goal in opening day. 9 5 is your Girona. 9 5 is your away win and 90 to 10 is your away win here. I'm giving it to Girona here with a one win for them uh, to uh, get the first one on the campaign and a, and, a, and, a, and a goal, another goalless affair for Katafe moving forward. And that, my friends, is what I've got for you. Be sure, and if I'm right, and if I'm bloody right, this is what the table will look like. It'll be Madrid up there, Betis, uh, the other Madrid, aka Real up there, and Valencia will be the four teams with 100% record so far uh, in the uh, in the season, of course. So be sure to get your own predictions in using the old Super Brew. It is free to enter. Get your name in lights, of course. And then you could be outright leader next time around. That's it, of course. Be sure to give us some love and smash your thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, of course, Patreon as well if you want to support the channel in another way. Check out the Discord. It's wide open and it's free, of course, to get amongst it and chat amongst the community. Uh, uh, here we here we have at, Ro at Rover Seas. But anyway, guys and girls, that is it. Until then, uh, which of course is next week. We'll be back. But until then, be safe out there.